I'm Louise Learson. This is my, I'm entering my third year as local pastor in a semi-rural environment. We're no longer Deacon Downman, but we're still rural area. And I love it. The opportunity to further garner information as to how I can live out my call it's what really made me choose to, well, to sign up to become part of the Called and Gifted Workshop. It was a fantastic, it is a fantastic opportunity. And that's pretty much why I chose to do that. And what was your experience of the workshop, of the environment? The workshops were wonderful. The persons who were leading were more than capable. They were able to draw things out of me that I didn't even know were there. The environment was just extremely wonderful. It's always good to go to the mountains of North Carolina, which is where we were. And there was time for reflection as well. It wasn't all just hard driven work. And even the work was fun, so fantastic environment. What? The workshop allowed me to see that there were people who had the same questions, the same concerns as it relates to their call. And it provided us an opportunity to have fun with the exploration, to find out what it is that really binds us, that makes us want to do the work that we do. Mm -hmm. All the exercises were fantastic. I am not an artist, but I found myself engaged in drawing and in self-expression in a manner that was, well, a little foreign because it had previously been uncomfortable, but it worked wonderfully. The workshop helped me to better understand my gift of organization and how it is that I'm more able to empower individuals within the congregation to allow them to live out their giftings as well. So I love that aspect of the workshop. And it was, well, the giftings were all pretty much, the process was pretty much a confirmation of those giftings that I was aware of. What I did learn was that I need to sit back and allow other people to pour into me as well. It isn't just about that, that I know that there are people who will find giftings within me and within the individual apart from that which we think that we know. I have not yet, at this point, completed my plan. What the workshop has done is allowed me to visualize the possibilities. It's helped me to see that there are areas where I do need improvement. There are areas where I can participate more fully if I'm more engaged in process. So well, upon completion of my leadership development plan, I had in the, someplace in mind the fact that I need to be able to get away and better plan, better plan, better organize. However, the more engaged I am with the process, because the process does continue when you leave the mountain, I find that I would much rather, well, maybe in addition to, I want to become engaged in the spiritual formation aspect. We, there's a school that's coming up, and I'm thinking that my plan will be completed in time for me to attend the School of Spiritual Formation, the Academy of Spiritual Formation. I would encourage anyone who has the opportunity to please make the time and go. Please go. You'll find that there are people there who have the same questions unanswered as do you, you'll find the opportunity to engage in conversation with people who have the same questions, the same desire to lead as do you. And you may discover that you have giftings that you are so unaware of. Please attend. I've shared the information that I garnered at this workshop with my congregation, maybe not overtly, but in the process, in planning, in organizing, for events in just my leadership style. It has really helped me to, do, to further develop my own leadership style and realize that it's okay for me to be me. So I appreciate that. <laughs>